this next match is the first comparison that will be done comparing two characters from different series. Akira the protagonist of Battle Game in 5 seconds. A bored high schooler who enjoys playing games. And Ayanakaji from the series Classroom of the Elite. Also a high school kid who wants a boring normal life to escape his childhood. Which of these characters will turn out to be smarter? Let's find out! First section is spatial and the first category is observations of materials. This is close but Ayanakaji seems to edge this one out as he took into consideration available materials and made it part of his plan. Ayanakaji gets this with hard difficulty. Next is observations of space. Akira seems to edge this one out as part of his plans include how the space is used such as when fighting a more powerful opponent or predicting where his opponent will attack. Akira gets this with hard difficulty. Last is puzzle solving. This is hard but Akira seems to get this by a little as he used both the materials and space to a better degree than Ayanakaji by predicting where his opponents will attack and who his opponents would use to attack within certain areas. Knowing how his opponent would use his special powers as well as where he would send them to. Akira gets this with hard difficulty. Akira won more points so he gets the overall points giving him 21 points and Ayanakaji 4. Next is intrapersonal and the first category is understanding your own intentions. Ayanakaji gets this category as he never seems to waver in his understanding of what his plans are while there are moments when Akira is somewhat conflicted as to what he wants to do. Ayanakaji gets this with medium difficulty. Next is understanding what you will do. This is extremely close between them as both characters know exactly what their plans are and how to execute them. Ayanakaji seems to etch this out slightly as he already understands what his actions will do and how they affect others a little more so than Akira who has done things that have caused an effect on someone that he didn't intend to happen. Ayanakaji gets this with hard difficulty. Next is understanding your limitations. Both are also really good at this but Ayanakaji seems to etch this out a bit as he takes into consideration in slightly more detail of his limitations. Realizing his team isn't working together well and that the other classes look at his class as being beneath them. Using this to his advantage. Ayanakaji gets this with hard difficulty. Next is understanding your knowledge. Akira seems to get this one as he uses his various knowledge to help achieve his goals while Ayanakaji uses more straightforward things. Akira shows more variety in knowing what he knows against his opponents who might lack knowledge of something. Akira gets this with hard difficulty. Next is adaptability. Akira seems to get this one as he has to learn a plethora of different abilities that the other people he's playing against have and adjust to them with his own plans while Ayanakaji really only had to adapt to his team losing points. However this wasn't necessarily him adapting as he had already planned for it as it was much easier to anticipate happening than what Akira had to anticipate. Akira gets this with hard difficulty. Last is emotionally control. Ayanakaji easily gets this one as he is always cool and collected never losing sight of his goal or being overcome with rage or joy for any predicament he finds himself in. Ayanakaji gets this with easy difficulty. Ayanakaji won more points so he gets the overall points giving him 21 points and Akira with 6 points. Next is linguistic and the first category is knowing what you want to be said or what needs to be said. Ayanakaji seems to get this as he picks subjects that get a certain reaction from people that tell him things he wants to know while Akira is more just an easy person to talk to. Ayanakaji gets this with medium difficulty. Next is knowing the order of things to be said. Akira seems to get this one as he is better at describing his intentions to his peers as so they know what his plan is and how to follow it while Ayanakaji never really feels the need to describe his plans to people in their fullest usually, leaving them questioning him still. Akira gets this with medium difficulty. Knowing what words to best describe what you want to say. Ayanakaji seems to be more aware of his usage of words, picking ones that invoke a certain response which get his targets to do what he wants when they think it's what they want. Akira can also pick his words well but it doesn't seem as detailed as Ayanakaji is. Ayanakaji gets this with hard difficulty. Ayanakaji won more points so he gets the overall points giving him 16 points and Akira 5 points. Next is bodily kinesthetics. This one is fairly obvious. Akira doesn't show nearly as much body control compared to Ayanakaji who showed a lot of fighting knowledge while taking on Ryun. Akira still has some showings of physical attributes but Ayanakaji is still better so he wins all these categories with medium difficulty. Ayanakaji won all the points so he gets the overall points giving him 18 points and Akira with 0. Next is interpersonal and the first category is understanding others intentions. This is really close but Akira seems to etch this out as he saw through other people's intentions without actually having to speak or know them first. Akira gets this with hard difficulty. 
Next is understanding what others will do. Another really close one but Ainakaji seems to get this as he predicted several other groups actions that would be taken and how they would affect his own plans. Ainakaji gets this with hard difficulty. Next is understanding others limitations. Very close again but Akira seems to etch this out as he knew the capabilities of his opponent's powers by just witnessing how the progression of the battle took place and used this information against them. Akira gets this with hard difficulty. Last is understanding others knowledge. Akira seems to get this last one as he discovers what other people are aware of and understands how it can be used against them while Ayanakoji is really only working against people who have the same information he does. Akira gets this with medium difficulty. Akira won more points so he gets the overall points giving him 23 points and Ayanakoji gets 6 points. Next is existential and this is a tricky category when comparing these two. Neither character really displays any philosophies within their series. The most we really see is how Ayanakoji feels about being superior to everyone and doing anything it takes to win. Akira seems to show care for people and wanting people to respect each other while Ayanakoji believes in survival of the fittest. Since Ayanakoji displays an active philosophy he gets all these categories with medium difficulty meaning Ayanakoji gets all the points giving him 12 points and Akira 0 points. Next is logical and the first category is gathering of information. This one seems to go to Ayanakoji as his gathering of information always ends up giving him the full picture of the situation at hand while Akira usually gets pieces. Ayanakoji gets this with medium difficulty. Next is deductions of information. Akira seems to get this one every so slightly as he is able to make bigger deciding factors based on lesser information than Ayanakoji is. Akira gets this with hard difficulty. Last is how the information is used. Akira edges this one out as he makes slightly more grand scale plans that involve multiple parties and multiple skills compared to Ayanakoji that has less factors involved in his plans. Akira gets this with hard difficulty. Akira won more points so he gets the overall points giving him 27 points and Ayanakoji with 5 points. Next section is musical and the first category is determining different sounds amongst each other. Akira seems to get this as he watches and learns other people's abilities using all his senses including hearing. Akira gets this with hard difficulty. Next is determining where the sound is coming from. Ayanakaji seems to get this category as he was aware of the presence of other people on the island with him and knew where and who they were. Ayanakaji gets this with medium difficulty. Last is determining what is making the sound. For similar reason Ayanakaji gets this one as he knew of the sources of several of the sounds he heard while being stalked when he wasn't informed of it. Ayanakaji gets this with medium difficulty. Ayanakaji won more points so he gets the overall points giving him 15 points and Akira with 4 points. The last section of intelligence is naturalist and the first category is understanding of elements. Ayanakaji seems to get this as he was raised in a school that taught him at the highest level of education possible as well we see Ayanakaji starting a fire in use of his plans. Ayanakaji gets this with medium difficulty. Next is understanding of how elements work together. Akira seems to get this one as he used his new knowledge of people's abilities to outperform them and put them in places where they were at a disadvantage and could be taken advantage of. Akira gets this with hard difficulty. Last is understanding of animal nature. Ayanakaji seems to get this one as he used the knowledge of how humans would react to certain conditions when met with them to fool all the other classes. Ayanakaji gets this with medium difficulty. Ayanakaji won more points so he gets the overall points giving him 20 points and Akira with 5 points. After a hard fought battle between two characters from different series we come to the results and conclusion. Akira was well versed in many things which allowed him to accumulate 91 points in total. However it wasn't enough to beat Ayanakaji who got 117 points in total. Akira and Ayanakaji were evenly matched but there were a few categories which Akira gained no points in which let Ayanakaji surpass him. This was a really even match but Ayanakaji won meaning he will move on to the next round. Did you enjoy this video? And what do you think of the results? Did it turn out as expected or were you surprised at all? Let me know what you think in the comments.